Decentro Media Presence at Token Sky is brought to you in part by Asobimo. Bringing crypto to millions of gamers with the Asobi Coin Next Generation Distributed Digital Content Platform. Hi everyone, this is Decentro reporting at Token Sky in Tokyo. I'm with Ramon Villati from Crypto Hub in Brazil. I was uh, just cruising around this conference and it's actually the first project from Brazil that I've ever seen at a conference. Thought I would catch up with Ramon to see what's going on. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. We came all the way from Brazil to show our project to the Japanese people and to the people from here. We are live with our ICO. We did our own token to open our crypto exchange in Brazil that will trade the fiat currency in Brazil, Brazilian reais to crypto which is a big market and is growing fast. Yes, the ICO is open until 20th of July, and then we go live with our exchange on 20th of 25th of July. Okay, just like that, boom, boom. Get, yes. it, get it out there, cool. So what's your token called? Our token is Crypto Hub Coin, CHBR. It's in the same business model as Binance and Qcoin did. We did our token that will give discount for the token holders in our platform. So whoever buy now and wants to trade later with us, we will have discount in the trading fees. So uh, why did you come to Japan? I mean, I know historically there's a connection between Brazil and Japan. There's a lot of people from Japan that live in Brazil and vice versa. But specifically, why did you uh, with crypto yes, come to Tokyo? Yes, I believe Japan is in the front of us in the cryptocurrency market. It's everything allowed here. People are much more conscious about the cryptocurrencies than in Brazil. Brazil is still growing. <coughs> We have already almost 2 million crypto investors, but it's only 1% of our population. So we thought in present this ICO opportunity to Japanese people and ask them help to fund our project and launch our exchange. So is CryptoHub going to be the first official um, cryptocurrency exchange in Brazil? There is more cryptocurrencies in Brazil, but we found that last year that they were charging very high fees. The customer support was very poor and there is only two or three options of coins in their exchanges. So we are launching a better software, a better exchange with more coins. We will launch with 20 coins and the lowest fees for the Brazilian people. Okay, so how is the crypto scene in general in Brazil? It's growing fast. We don't have a formal regulation yet, but everything is looking good. We have bank accounts opening, good connections, and we hope to scale our business fast. Uh, are there any people in Brazil using crypto to hedge against inflation? Yeah, some people will hold some funds in crypto to protect themselves and to have a little bit more of diversified portfolio. That's a good option also. Sounds like Brazil needs you guys. Um, where are you coming from and how are you and your team qualified to uh, create this exchange? Yes, we have a big team already, 30 guys in our, in our team. We are growing fast. All our founders are very well succeed in other business and bring a lot of experience to the market. I came from a good performance marketing background, so we are very good in the digital marketing space. And with the funds in hands, and as we are bringing a better solution for the Brazilian population, with a very big marketing campaign, we will grow fast. Our goal is to reach a half million users in six months. All right. Well, with two million crypto traders in Brazil, and if you guys are a better platform, that should be uh, an achievable goal. Yes, it is. Nice. Are there any, uh, just out of curiosity, any blockchain projects out of Brazil that you want to mention? It's coming a few ones. There is now a bank project to be a blank in the blockchain. Not huge ones yet. It is, it is starting. All oh, right, so it's like Brazil is in 2009. Yes, we are always <laughs> a, bit, a bit late about the other countries. I was impressed to know that South Korea has 30% of the economic active population already have some crypto. I'm not sure that, that number in Brazil, but you see that Brazil, not even 1% of the population have cryptos. So a lot of room to grow. And of course, if in South Korea, in, in Japan, this is so established, Brazil will also have that in the near future. Okay, cool. So Crypto Hub, check it out. I'll have a link in the uh, description box of the video down low. And uh, might be the next Binance for South America. Who knows, guys? Well, thanks for being on the show, Roman. Thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you, mate. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of Decentral Report coverage of Token Sky in Tokyo by clicking on the playlist above. 
If you liked this video, make sure you like and share it. It really helps what we do. Decentro Media is on the ground, revealing the best of the blockchain industry and the people behind it face-to-face -face just for you. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching.